going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to something a little bit different. I have done unboxings on the channel before, but I've never done anything where I've had multiple camera angles set up at the same time, ready to go for you guys. Right now we're sitting at the Farm Sim News setup and in front of me, I have a brand new laptop. I picked up a new gaming laptop so that I don't have to be sitting here. I don't have to be sitting back there. I can play Farm Sim anywhere. I didn't get something with the best specs. I uh, already have two PCs like that. I just needed something that would work at 1080p and get the job done at medium settings and be totally fine. What I've done is I've picked up the Gigabyte Aero 15 Classic SA 15 inch thin bezel LG 144 Hertz full HD IPS LCD panel i7-9750H with an NVIDIA G4X GTX 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig M.2 PCIe slot card. Plus, it's got Windows 10 Home on it as well. That's gonna be perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox because I haven't even opened it yet. So let's check it out. You can see we've got our packaging right here. The packaging looks very good as well. I've taken off the void sticker, so everything looked good before I got it. I have not even opened this yet, so Let's open it up. Easy way to open it up is gonna be from the back and then lift up just like so. Woo! Now I got a 15 inch because I have a 15 inch MacBook and I wanted something that looked exactly the same. So there we go. We have the laptop, which is extremely heavy compared to my, my MacBook. This is like a tank. Goodness, what else do we get in the box? So we get some cardboard. We should have power and everything in the very bottom. And it looks like we do. We've got a couple different things right here. So we're gonna open this up and that gives us access to the power brick, which weighs just as much as the laptop does. I have gotten spoiled rotten doing stuff with Apple. This is ridiculous. So let's go in here and of course we get more parts to the power cable. Is that it? It doesn't feel like it. There's one more thing in here, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's up here. Let's see. Nope. Aha. There we go. Quick start guide. Is there anything else? No. Nothing else, so we're gonna take this and set it all to the side. So our power cord comes in not only a bag, but it also comes in a very, very nice <laughs> cook <-lung. laughs> I did in my, my desk, that's great. Oh, only with me. So the power is, this is heavy, like very heavy. I, I'm used to Apple, which <laughs> they weigh nothing. Uh, this right here is standard IEC to Edison cord. Normal stuff there. We're going to get everything plugged in. But here is our laptop in a nice protective sleeve. And we're going to see if we can get this thing out of here. Just like so. Oh, man. It says Gigabyte on the front. I don't know if this is um, RGB or not. I assume it is. But we're going to test it out and find out. Let's take this and open it. The screen is amazing. Now I got this one for a couple different reasons. I love Gigabyte products. I'm a little bit of a Gigabyte fanboy and I also really like LG. So I got one with an LG panel. This is the same panel, a very similar panel of my gaming setups. I have two 140 or 140 Hertz uh, gaming panels. I'm going to leave these on for now, but I will be taking off at least this sticker, if not all the stickers, because I like a very clean look. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in so we get power. I'm also going to plug in our RG45 internet, and uh, we're going to go from there. Powers in RJ45 is in. We have power and internet. Let's go for it. Full RGB backlit keyboard, individually addressable from everything. Boom, we pop up right here. Now, keep in mind, I bought this specifically for playing Farming Simulator. So everything that I do with this, everything that I put on it 
will be for FarmSim. Since FarmSim was free, a lot of you guys have got it on PC, or maybe you got it on your laptop, but you're not really sure what settings to use. Maybe you're not even sure what you need to do to set it all up. So right now, we're getting started. We're getting everything done up. I did get the SSD with this. I wanted to make sure that we were able to go as quickly as possible with this. So let's get it all set up. Device is getting ready, looking good. This is the one thing about lap new stuff in general. Fortunately, I didn't have to build this. Um, I would have liked to have built a laptop. Nonetheless, still getting ready, sitting at 91% for like three or four minutes now. Well, we're now getting ready. Let's go unplug the ethernet because I wasn't quite sure if I should have it plugged in or not. So I did unplug it. Here we are, we're starting back up again. It looks like the system has restarted, kind of reset itself. Let's see what happens now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set up, Ooh, wow, the mouse pad is great. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for uh, personal use as my normal computer. Um, Oh no, 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 Cortana, go away. I don't want this. Disable voice control. Yes, there we go. All right, let's take a look and see. All right, let's start with the region. Yep, United States, that's looking good. Right keyboard, US, absolutely. <laughs> no, I don't want to add a second keyboard. That is crazy. Connect to an internet, so now let's get connected. Getting everything taken care of now. Um, it's doing a couple different things here, and it's asking me about Cortana, and it's asking me for different things. And like here, I'm just gonna ask me for things. So online speak rec recognition, using your voice for dictation to talk to Cortana, and other apps that use Windows cloud-based speech recognition. Um, yeah, no. Find my device, absolutely, just in case one of you guys get a hold of this and try and take it from me. <laughs> you can get typing. So, again, we're going to get all these settings done for us. Literally turned off everything with the exception of find my device. Now what it's done is it has updated all of my drivers saying you're about to be signed out. Reboots required. So, yes, that is totally cool. Boom, let's do that. And we're going to accept there. Check that out right there. That is so cool. So that is actually my background to my computer right here. My farm so computer. I love that picture. That is cool. While we're on this screen, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this. What I've done is I have picked up a Logitech gaming mouse. I picked up the G305. This is the baby. So it's the little one. Oh, I've already got my battery in there. We'll go ahead and take out the USB stick. That's going to give us our Bluetooth. And then, simply, I don't think we need that for anything else, no. Close it right back up. It's not RGB, it doesn't do anything crazy, but I wanted it, it was perfect. It was perfect for me. Plus, this is my other mouse. So it's very similar. They do make a wireless version of this mouse, but I just thought it was way overboard, way too much for what we're doing right now. So, we've got that. Let's sit it down, I'm gonna find out. Do we want that side or this side? So there's two USBs on this side, or there's one over here, there's two over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the side that's only got one. That way I'll know I've always got stuff on that side. USB's installed, turn on the mouse, and immediately we have mouse control. Perfect. Signing in and we are good to go. Now, I need to download a couple pieces of software. First off, I need to download um, Steam. I need to download Notepad++, I need to move all of my mods over, which I have everything done already, so that's good. I also need to go into the software and change this because this is gonna get annoying very, very quickly. So now that I have everything set up the way that I need, we need Microsoft Edge. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to use Microsoft Edge to go to google.com and we are gonna download Google Chrome because that is literally the only thing that it's good for. And now that we have got it, let's go ahead and turn that off and hopefully never have to use that again. But we're up, we're up, I've synced everything and we are good. Now, the next thing we need to do is go to Steam and download everything. It's actually not steam.com, I don't know what I'm doing. 
I think it's steam powered. Yep, there we go. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and install Steam. Install it right there for Windows. We're also going to need OBS. I like using Streamlabs, so we're going to go to Streamlabs and we are going to download that as well. Now that we've got Steam up, I've been trying to get stuff to actually work to record the screen so that you guys don't have to keep looking down here, but I'll just zoom in or do something like that. We need to download Farming Simulator 19 because that's the one reason, one reason that I bought this. We can also play GTA 5 if I want, but I don't really play GTA 5 that much on the PC. I play on Xbox. So, install right here. Desktop I've crying. Yep, yep. All that looks good. Let's go ahead and get that. And let's see. We're going to have to agree to... Uh, uh oh Clicked off something there. There we go. I think we're going to have to agree to something down here. Nope. All's good. So, I'm preparing to download Farming Simulator 19. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the back and we're going to grab my mod folder. We're going to be ready to go. Farming Simulator is downloading. So I have my drive right here, a two terabyte WD drive. This thing has been everywhere with me and I've beat the <laughs> crap out of it. Plug in. There we go. USBs are pretty tough on this thing right here. All right, bring that out. You see, we've got everything kind of lined up here in a row. All is good. As a matter of fact, I want to relocate some of this stuff because I have no reason to keep this stuff in the main homepage. So there we go, that's that. Uh, let's see, do we want Farm Sim down, down here? Normally I keep Farm Sim on the main. So we got that, both of these can go, or we'll just dump them in there. There we go, Streamlabs is down there, all right. And then the Gaming Center, that's okay. We'll keep that where it's at. Let's go ahead and sort these by name and be done there. Perfect, because Recycle Bin will always be up here at the top. Good to go. Oh, move that too. We don't need that on the main. Let's go back and double check. Let's see, three gigs out of five. That is good with me. How about we poke in, let's open up a folder real quick and let's go in and let's take a look at my hard drive and we'll find it should be a nice big mod folder for a laptop. Here we go. These are all my mods. 1,357, something like that. Something just absolutely crazy, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. So we've got them all. I'm ready to literally click and drag in. One thing we're gonna have to do is launch Farming Simulator before I do the mod folder because I, I can't remember if it needs to create one or not. So we'll just go in and we'll download one and then that's gonna be good there. Double check it, go back in. Hey, we're close to being finished. While we're waiting, and we know everything's working. Now may be a good time to go ahead and do a really nice sticker peel. And I can tell you this is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Very good there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hang on to this. We're going to put it on the, uh, the bag. There we go. Hey, Farm Sim's almost done. There is a noticeable place from it, but I think... The more we use this, the more that's gonna go away. I will tell you, this is very loud and it's really hot. But then again, if I put my hand down on my PC, I'm sure that would be crazy as well. Hey, Farm Sim's ready to go. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to turn off the sound. So sound is not only muted, it is completely off now. Here we go. Let's launch it up. Do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? I would be happy to let this make changes to my advice. Advice? Device. Perfect. There we go. Like I said, I was going to try and record all this, but screen recording is just not wanting to work with us today. So uh, performing the first time setup, it's installing Microsoft DirectX for Windows. Um, that is needed to play Farming Simulator. I will tell you, I have tried and tried and tried to play. Let's see, you were logged on another computer. I played for... Oh, yeah, I am, aren't I? Uh, let's go, let's go take that away real quick. Hang on, just cancel. Oops, I did like the mod video way, way earlier. <laughs> I still had it pulled up. All right, let's switch back over. Now let's launch Farming Simulator 19 on the laptop. For the first time, let's see how it's going to work. So first off, I already see 
we are in a windowed mode and that ain't gonna work at all. So let's go in here first up and let's just start changing stuff. Also, I need to get my um, controller because I have a controller that I've got specifically for this. There we go. So it's just got a standard Xbox One controller, normal. It's actually one that came with my uh, Xbox One X. I just have no reason for it. And I have a awesome USB-C to micro cable. Yeah, these are brand new actually, we just got these. So, one end in there, one end's going in here. I do have quite a few USB-Cs on here, which is very nice. I think there's two, maybe a third one as well. Yep, and it's already recognizing it, which is great. I am going to do the majority of this setup with uh, the mouse and keyboard. So for those of you curious, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into input help, and that is going to be gamepad all the time. Uh, game pads and steering wheels turned on. Head and eye tracking is going to be off. Uh, volume master. Um, this one's interesting because I don't actually know how my headphones are going to work with this. So standard, normally I'll do 20, 20, 10. So vehicle volume will be 10% and then environment volume. Actually, that's master. Music volume. No, 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 no. 0% off there. 20 and 10 there. Radio volume, that's going to be at 0% as well. And GUI volume, I always like to turn that off. It's cool, but I don't like it. So we've got that turned off. Here we go. 1280 by uh, <laughs> 720. That's not going to work, is it? I want just 1080. Standard 1080. 1920, 1080. V-Sync on windowed mode on so that I can go in and out of the program if I need to. Resolution scaling 100%. Field of view, 60%. In-game HUD, 100%. The 100%, I'm going to keep that because I like having a 100% HUD whenever I'm playing, uh, just personally, so that I can see things a little bit better. Plus, it's only a 15-inch screen, so we've got that as well. Go in, just double-check, make sure everything's picked up. Yep, mouse sensitivity, 100%. Sweet. So now, let's go into main graphic settings. First, I'm just going to start at medium everything. So uh, multi-sampling, or multi-sampling, anti-aliasing, I normally run this, I think, at 8 on my PC. So we're going to run this at 2 just for now, just to get a little bit extra, a little something-something. Medium, medium, object doll distance, 100% everywhere. Uh, max mirrors, I think I've got that set on 7 on my main PC. So we're just going to uh, we'll leave it on 4, why not? Uh, bilinear texture filtering right here. I have it on 16 on mine, but we're just going to stick on the first one right here. I think this is just low and high. Yep, uh, terrain quality, high and low. Uh, low terrain quality looks terrible, so we're going to leave that on high. Um, this is going to be set to 100%. Realistic beacons, we'll turn that on just to see if we'll handle it. Texture resolution, uh, let's see, we'll leave that on high for now. Max shadow lights, we'll do two, just to give ourselves, I think we can do eight total, ten total. Um, we'll start at five, we'll put that right in the middle. Medium, 100, 100. Let's click apply and see what happens. So now we have a full screen. Perfect. That looks really good, actually. We're going to go back and let's go into mods and let's see. Let's download something. Something from today, not the global company. Uh, let's see. I'll show all mods as well. We're going to have to show all mods because that is going to be a nightmare if we don't do that. So all this is looking good. Let's see. Let's download something little, something that's easy. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't have Oakfield Farm installed on here, actually. Actually, I do, yep. Uh, let's see, the Case IH Veteran Series. Install, yes please. We'll go back, and it's already done because my internet is fantastic. So, now that we've done that, we're gonna back out. It's gonna say, would you like to restart Farm Sim? I'm gonna click no because we are going to quit Farm Sim. There we go, we've quit Farm Sim, and that is good. We're gonna bring that. Actually, we're going to exit Steam or close that completely. Now, let's go find everything. So we're going to go into Windows C Drive. We're going to go to pro or, uh, Program Files x86, I believe it is. Um, actually, we're going to just go to Program Files themselves. And we're going to go in here and we're going to find Steam. I take that back. Stop listening to me. <laughs> oh, we need to go into My Games. And we've got a mod folder right here. There it is, the Case Vestrum series. So now we're going to take this. We're going to bring this right here. And then we are going to pop in with a new window right there. 
we're gonna bring up the mod folder right here, this huge, huge mod folder. Select all, copy, paste. And this is going to take a hot minute. Yep, 18.1 gigs, uh, items 1,350 some, I think you guys saw right there. So we're gonna do all this and uh, eventually it's gonna ask us to replace that case. And once we get there, we'll click replace and we'll go from there. Now that everything is moved over, we are good to go and we have full screen support now. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully it's showing up. So let's click out, let's click out, let's relaunch this and let's hit play farming simulator. This may take a little bit of time. The reason this may take a little bit of time is because farming simulator doesn't like to have 18 gigs thrown into it. <laughs> and then told, hey, go ahead and go ahead and make all that work. Yeah, yeah, if you could just do all of that, that'd be great. So yeah, so that's where we're stuck with right now. I'm also gonna have to re-download, or at least um, reload up all of our DLC. So we're gonna have to talk about all of our stuff from doing the class stuff and all that. So I do have the class and John Deere DLC purchased through a different way. Uh, I did get those from Giants themselves, uh, or at least through them. I didn't buy them from them. Um, and then, of course, everything else is coming from Steam itself. So Steam is good. Steam is happy. Um, but we want to make everybody happy. And here we are. Everything is working out, doing okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make the really loud talking, really loud talking. Stop, 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 stop. Turn the music off. Didn't I already do that? Come on. Turn that. Go back in. <laughs> I was like, didn't I already do this? Options. Music. So all this is just back where it was. Nothing saved. Come on. What are you, what are you doing here? Again, music or uh, volume at 20, music there. Uh, vehicle at 20, and then environment at 10. Radio is going to be at 0% as well. GUI at 0%. Did anything else save? No, nothing else saved. Did I, did I not click up? Oh, I probably didn't click apply. Yeah, we should probably do that. So now that we're in here again, I can at least show you what I did. So we just found 1080p right there. That's what I want. V-Sync on, windowed mode on. Uh, resolution scaling 100. That's good. All that is looking nice. Uh, yep, yep, that's all good. That's good. We're not going to mess with that. Advanced graphic settings. Uh, looks like this stuff saved. So that is nice. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go in here. Did all that reset again? Nope. Back. Mods. Looking good. Options. Did you... It did it again, didn't it? <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my. Yep. All right. Here, let's do it again. I've actually gone in and turned off windowed mode. Um, for some reason, windowed mode is making it like super small in the middle of the screen. So I'm just going to turn that off completely, probably because, oh man, this is just great. See, this is the things that you're like, I just did that. Why didn't it do it? It's going to do, it's going to treat you like this all the time. Uh, windowed mode on 1080p looking good. Okay. That stuff's good right there. Let's hit apply real quick and see if it fills up the entire screen. And now it has filled up the entire screen. That is very, very good. That's what we wanted. This should load up pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and take my Xbox controller right here, Xbox One controller. I like the settings. Of course, I like the settings. Let's go in. We should have exactly the same setup. Yep, the same stuff here as everything. As a matter of fact, new Woodshire needs to go. We don't need that. All this is looking great. Uh, let's load up uh, Oakfield, I guess, right? Yep, this was the personal setup. FSL tournament, John Deere client, class pack. Goodness, is that all the stuff that I need to do? All right, well, uh, let's go back real quick. I'm going to go find my John Deere and the class platinum stuff, and we're going to reinstall that. Moment of truth now. Headphones are in. Going to career. Please do good. Please be all right. FSL tournament, I don't care. We'll download it later. I don't need it right now. Hitting yes. All right, let's find out. Uh, again, I am not running in windowed mode. I turned that off completely. Um, this should be good. Let's go ahead and do a 
I deselect, select all, and then we need to come down to where seasons would be. Oop, that's not good. Come down to like in here, maybe somewhere. We need to turn seasons off. I always have seasons installed. I will very likely turn that off for this gameplay. Start. Guys, I hope that this works. I've tried and tried and tried to play on my, on my uh, iMac, my MacBook Pro, both of which are very nice, very expensive computers with graphics enabled. I have nice graphics cards in them. And neither one of them's having it. Not a darn one of them. So we're going to try this. We're going to see. Will it work? Is it going to work? It might work. Please work. We're loading up right now. Um, also, this should work. As long as you got internet, Steam is usually pretty easy to do. I haven't had any issues with it before. Loading circle is slowing down. Let's see. Are we going to do it? Loading up. Let's see. Is it going to be bad? Is it going to be good? Oh, the game is not happy. It is not happy with me. Not at all. At least to start with. Let's go ahead and turn off our help window there. Come through here. Now, I will say this. Um, the house is very... Uh, it is a very difficult place to be. So, we're back out here now. Uh, going through... Having some lagging issues that may be because our settings are too high. Um, either that or we just need to run around a little bit. So we're going to continue to do this. I will be updating everything and, and trying to run things separately. Apologize if you guys hear a dog. My neighbor's dog is running around like a maniac outside right now. This is why I'm going to move to the middle of the woods. This is is doable gameplay not only doable gameplay this is good gameplay <laughs> man this is this is all, this is all right this is doable i could do this start it up yep we've got to go plow so we're gonna go up and now keep in mind too i am running a uh, a recording software in the background as well right now just so you guys can see gameplay of this um, hopefully, I guess it's all running fine. I've probably got way more going on with this laptop right now than I normally would. Let's go into first person. Usually that takes a little bit of time and it takes a little hit. Let's turn on our window right here. Guys, I am over a kilometers per hour. That's, that's not, that's, <laughs> it's not going to fly at all. Acres, miles, dollar. There we go. All right. That's a little bit better. Let's... <laughs> 39. Okay, that makes more sense. But this is good. This is normal. I could deal with this. Guys, everything I ever wanted just came true. I just wanted a, a mobile way to play Farming Simulator that wasn't just terrible. Ooh, the gate's gone right there. Interesting. Well, nonetheless, that is Farm Sim... On a computer, those settings are great. I could probably even bump those up a little bit. The um, So the card, ooh, that was a little laggy. The card itself is dubbed as being a, oh, I need to lime this whole thing, don't I? Ah, we'll come through later. Um, the card itself is being dubbed as the ultimate 1080p gaming card. So I would imagine that if you guys are using... That's going to hit. Yeah, there we go. I imagine if you guys are using this or something similar, you're going to be just fine. And I'm absolutely thrilled with the way this looks. I mean, look at that. Medium settings. I know it's, you know, it is what it is, but that's not terrible. Look at the tractor. Look at the detail on here. It, and I can pick it up because I got the same mods. I mean, it's literally the same mods that I'm using on my my gaming laptop or my gaming PC, except on a laptop. This was not an expensive laptop either. I'll make sure to leave links um, if you want to get this for yourself. I will attempt to make them uh, affiliate links if I can. If Amazon will let me. But nonetheless, what do you guys think? 
I am digging this. I am digging this a whole lot. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Coham fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. Let me know if you like stuff like this. It's not often that I get a big new piece of equipment, so I wanted to share it with you guys. You guys got to enjoy it for the first time just like I did, and let me know if you like the overhead camera as well. I could do more stuff like this. I don't really know what I would do, but... We're going to give it a try and see. I've been talking to a few companies about possibly showing some stuff off that's going to make gaming and farming simulator in general easier for you guys at home and on the go. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.